Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we're gonna see how to install nmap at Linux Mint 18.3 and also let's see practical examples of nmap commands for Linux system. The nmap is a network mapper and it is an open source and very versatile tool for Linux system and also a network administrators. Nmap is used for exploring networks, perform security scans, network audit and also finding open ports on a remote machine. It scans for a live host, operating system, packet filters and open ports running on the remote host. So in this tutorial I will be covering major Nmap usage and in this setup I have used two servers and let's get started. First let's, let's install the Nmap using the following command. Now that we have got nmap installed, it's time to scan our target for vulnerabilities. As mentioned, there is an entire category of scripts dedicated to finding vulnerabilities on a target. So using a following command, we will run all the script against your target. This is my target IP 232 and also you can give a target website too. So after your scan completes, review nmap's output to determine what vulnerabilities were found. It will list its findings along with the applicable CVEs and links to any exploits that exist in offensive security exploit database. So here you can see not vulnerable. Next, we will see how to use nmap to brute force passwords. nmap contains scripts for brute forcing dozens of protocols including HTTP brute, Oracle brute and SNMP brute and so many. Use the following command to perform brute force attack to guess authentication credentials of a remote server. Let's pass the following command nmap script. And it also says host or all up and it is not vulnerable. Now let's see a few examples of simple nmap commands. Let's first start with scanning the target. Just use nmap and then your target IP address. Here you have scanned your target. And you can see which port is open and its services and all using this simple command. And then let's next let's scan the OS information and the trace route. With the nmap, you can detect which OS and version is running on the remote host. To enable a OS and version detection, script scanning and trace route, we can use iPhone A option with nmap. So this is the output and here you can see the nmap is came up with TCP IP fingerprint of the OS running on the remote host and being more specific about the port and services running on the remote host. Next let's see how to enable a OS detection with nmap. For that use the iPhone O option and occasion guess also helps to discover the OS information.
here you can find the OS information on DAO. Currently it is running on a VMware. And here you can see it's running on kernel 3. And most importantly, we can even find the nmap version. In order to do that, just nmap iPhone capital V. As you see here, we are using the latest version 7.01 here. And also you can print the host interfaces under roots. You can find it using the following command. iPhone iPhone if list so in the above output you can see that nmap is listing interfaces attached to your system on their respective routes and then you can even perform a tcp null scan to fool a firewall using a following command hyphen s capital n and then your target ip address So that's it with the nmap for now. I hope this tutorial helps you. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, if you like our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. For more videos, please do visit www.linuxhelp.com and also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries.